Howdy everyone, and welcome back to the Dark Side Detective. It's episode 5, and last time, um, we solved another case. You're probably wondering what I have up here. It's a bit cold. It's a bit chilly, so I'm, I'm, I'm warming myself up, you know? So this time we're going to be doing the lock mess. Dooley and his blood wolves are attending a jamboree. The kids rang, rang me in a, pan in a panic saying something fishy was going on. Ooh. I remember this one. Kinda. I kinda remember this one. So let's see. Ugh, hair. Well, here I am. Camp. What am I doing here? Whatever those kids were calling about, I don't see why Dooley can take care of it. Okay. It's not that. The poorly painted sign says, Jamboree inside. First here? That's odd, but I'm sure the rest will be along soon. Just settle in and don't think about it ever again. I don't know what a Jamboree is. That's actually exactly the kind of sign I'd expect here. Campsite. It's what happens when you let people vote on a name. The other choices were cabin in the wood not, tent pegging, and the place where you'll die. It's not hard to see how it won out. Been years since I came here. Memories, eh? Yeah, memories. It's too quiet when driving by myself. I need to get the radio fixed for when Dooley's not with me. Yeah, I love Julie. Guess that's the closest thing here to a nightclub for the flies. Scrawl reads, park your automobiles here, then throw the keys away. You won't need them with the fun you'll have with the jamboree. No other, mo no other motives, honest. Oh, the rope snapped. I guess I have a sign now. Oh, do- oh. Yeah, that's mine. Hello, Jamie. Hi there. Welcome to Lake, Lake Monster. Get out while you can! What? Why? Why? Because Lake Monster, of course. It's our number one attraction. Avoid it at all costs. What are you doing here? Every day I ask myself the same question. Jamie, you could have followed your dream, I said. Ja you could have been a chef. But then I reminded myself that I cannot taste flavors, and I think I made the right choice. Same. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Me and my flight flights of fancy. I work at the tourism board, and this is the tourism board. We, it and I, tell people what wonderful things to see and do in Twin Lakes. And what to avoid, like this lake and the rest of the city. Tell me about the camp. The campsite got its name, and it was a site of terrible massacre. It's also the site where those angry, angry spirits were laid to rest. Unconnected, it's also, it's also the site where terrible tragedies happen each year. That is awesome. Are we actually gonna have like a horror one today? It's for kids go on vacation and do fun blood wolf activities. It fills my heart with joy to see them play and with fear. Because everything here is so awful. Tell me more about this monster. Oh huge big fangs it has or, or tendrils. Maybe even a big sucker thing. And the wings. Oh if you saw them they'd probably be wings. <laughs> they may be fins though, hard to tell at the distance. It stands well over a certain height tall and weighs an amount. You can be sure of that. <coughs> Have you ever seen it? With my own eyes. Sorry. That was meant to be a question. With my own eyes? No, no, I have not. Has anyone ever seen it? And lived to tell tell of it? No. Many people have rumored to have taken. Is it rumored to have taken? Rumored? Many. Proven? None. Right. A, fr a fiend it is, but a wondrous attraction for the region. Each day I'm torn between Jamie, people need the beast, it brings much business, and Jamie, the monster it kills, probably. Goodbye, Jamie. Goodbye, run and don't look back. Seriously, how did, how did you get this job? I married into a powerful tourism family. Love you, Jamie. An information booth. Actually, it's I for interloper. I have to ask myself, Jamie. Do you think people will see this eye and understand that you can't, that you offer reasons why they are unwelcome in a terrible place? I think it's pretty clear. Thank you, Jamie. This one says, talk to Twin Lakes native. J 
Jamie, they said. Nobody's gonna come all this way to talk to you, but here they are. Yeah, I'm here for other reasons. Uh-oh. See you later, Jamie. You here? Seven, you rang? Blood Wolf Dooley has gone missing. Ah! <laughs> missing? Tell me what happened. I, I, I'm gonna do so many child voices, and I love doing a child voice. Much crying. Questionably authentic whales. We don't know. He was here last night, then the morning gone. His bunk wasn't even slept in. Aliens must have taken him. Mauled by a bear, I bet. Let's not leap to conclusions. When was the last time you saw him? We had nighttime hot chocolate. Then he went to the office to, I don't know, do office-y things? I guess we start there, then. We? I don't do this case solo. Just convenient sections. Come on, we've got Dooley to find. Really? You're going to bring the chill? Okay. Balance. I'm no balloonologist, but I'm pretty sure these balloons these shouldn't be slimy. What? I feel like I'm not reading things properly. I feel like I have dyslexia. You need to find Dooley. This place is too tense without him to lighten the mood. Oh, I get it. Get it? Too tense? Too tense? Eh, eh. You know what improves a joke? Explaining it. Yeah. Okay, Emily. Got any marshmallows on you, mister? No, but aren't you meant to always be prepared? That's scouts. We're taught never to never prepare. Means we should never be ready for anything. But it does wonders for the budget. Hmm. Armelia. Thanks for coming out. These two are on the verge of a meltdown. Looking for him should be calling them. No problem. Sometimes I think the fire is whispering at me to burn things. But then I realize it's just Emily. <laughs> Snitch! You know, my sister's name Emily, and she's the exact same way. Let's get fired. Did you guys build it yourselves? Emily built it all by herself. I didn't build it. I just freed the flames. It's how I get my Fire Whisperer badge. Fire Whisperer badge? Blood Wolves have a lot of very much not scout badges. Best not to ask. Okay. Okay. Wreck building. Sometimes I run around and around the building and I go so fast that I move everything into the future. How far into the future? Sometimes five whole minutes. How long does it take you to build up speed to do that? About five minutes. That's pretty impressive, kiddo. Good work. <laughs> I love kids. This place is empty. Where is everyone? I'm at home with their families. But isn't this meant to be a jamboree? Oh, all that stuff is fake. It's obvious, isn't it? I guess it is, but then why are you guys here? Us, we like hanging out with Dooley. Hope we find him soon. We will. I'm glad there's no one else around this weekend. All of the kids irritate me with their questions. What's your name? Where are you from? Wait a second, is that my bag? Something in there. The window covers the wall. They forgot to build the room, but already had a window ordered, so... That's... Amazing. The dorm room. Reminds me of summer camp out here as a kid. Hello? Hello, hello! This is Jack Turner, Devin's father. I just want to check in that the boy is doing okay. Not struck too wide-eyed by all that nature, I hope. He's... Uh, fine. Sorry for calling up. Jack is a worrier. Are you on the other line, Barbara? I'm just checking to make a little call, Barbara. Just checking on the lad, eh, Barbara? He'll be fine. <laughs> That's her voice. Jack, there's no need to keep calling. Just leave him to have a good time. Yes, no such thing as an overprotective parent now, is there? <laughs> One of these wet is wet and reads, Very real jamboree on this weekend. Dooley's pack should come. They were the best they are the best pack and will win the jamboree, which is real. This feels like a trap. Something smells fishy. It's a flyer, it stinks of fish. Hmm. Stupid damp paper. I'll watch your language. Stop trying to burn that flyer, Emily. Paper can be damp because of leaks, extreme humidity because of a jungle, or getting scared of and wetting itself. Thank you, Devin. Very informative. What's that? There's a pack of marshmallows called Uncle Goopy's Squidgy Delights here. Charming. Ew. 
<laughs> hey, that's my secret stash. Gimme, gimme, gimme. What's it called again? Sticky cubes of solidified sugar. Big hit with the kids. It really is. I hate marshmallows. One of these bunks is full of money. I hid my Monopoly earnings in it. Okay. Is this a boy or a girl's dorm? There are no genders in the Blood Wolf. It started as a cutting cost scheme, but it ended up being a strangely progressive. Okay. These bunks are all mine, but I let my pack sleep in them. A lone wolf is a weak wolf. Very good mindset. The Blood Wolves of America don't exist. Don't ask questions. Go about your lives. That's the most welcoming poster. You gotta want the wolf. We don't have time to for blow-ins. God, okay. Box of dress-up props. Let's dig out some bits and bobs. Some props. Let's mix it. Marshmallows are sticky, but they need to be a paste for that to work. For what to work? That's what I hate about uh, point-and-click games. You can just mix marshmallows and a wooden plank and have no idea what you're doing and be like, No, I can't do that yet. <laughs> what do you- YET! Alright. This is where, uh, Dooley went, right? Sometimes Blood Alpha Dooley- Blood Alpha. <laughs> Let's just play games with him on the, the computer. Fill in police reports is one of is what we play the most. When Blood Alpha Dooley is back, I'm gonna convince him to turn BETI into a robot wars contender. All opposition will be destroyed. Resistance is futile. You have Oh. Okay, what's that thing called from that uh whatever. That's my girl. How many blood wolves are in Twin Lakes anyway? Well, as for pack 347. The numbering starts at 210 and skips every 11th pack, so it's hard to say. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that math. I want to be leaves. I keep telling Dooley to stop buying knockoff posters. Yeah, Dooley, that as a gift. After Emily smashed the room's light, it had it coming! Okay. Someone and Dooley's logged in. I'm not proud of this, but maybe I can find some clues. Childhood photo. You're good times. Don't worry, buddy. I'll find you. Oh, we're childhood friends. Oh my God. We love each other. There's a file in here called Password. Let's see. Dooley's password is Password. That's as secure as it is surprising. This machine is pretty much empty. Looks interesting. Greetings, fellow Blood Wolf. You and your pack, I guess, are invited to the 100% legitimate Jamboree at campsite this weekend. You have to come. You must. Nigel, fellow blood wolf, no need to look it up. Okay. Seems he was hanging out with his Deluminati forum. It's an open thread. Dear Deluminati, the government are trying to use brainwaves to hunt me down so that they can pester me into film work. How can I protect myself? There's this guy who keeps bumping his posts and pinging Dooley. All his posts are signed Nigel, fellow human for realsies. <laughs> I'm starting to see a pattern here, but who is Nigel? Wait, okay, so let me get this straight. Dooley doesn't really believe in ghosts. Hold on. Oh. Oh, if I press tab, it shows me all the things I can... Oh. That's cute. Alright. But, okay. Dooley doesn't believe in ghosts and stuff like that, but he does believe in aliens? Or like the Illuminati? Or like conspiracy theories, right? Why is there no conspiracy theories around ghosts and stuff like that? Ghosts and conspiracy theories are completely separate forms of delusion, right? In the comments down below, list your favorite conspiracy theory. Mine is that I believe PETA is run by the meat organization. An empty folder. Okay. There's a sticker saying the truth is around here somewhere. I'm guessing this belongs to Dooley. Oscilloscope. This is... This is an odd thing for a holiday camp to have. This is B-E-T-I. It's like S-E-T-I, but better. 
Hello, Armelia, Devin, Emily, Detective. Why is it talking and how does it know my name? We did say it was better than an SETI. How can I help you today? Can you tell me about where Dooley went? Nothing. If Mr. Dooley wanted you to know his secrets, he'd have given you his the password. Okay, input password. Ugh, fine. What was the signal Dooley? What signal? What? What was this? A 2.4 gigahertz ultra high frequency radio signal. Essentially, the internet, but why? Stop trying to be cyber. Patronize me, machine. All you had to say was the fancy internet. Where did it lead him? Across the lake to the signal source. Which was? I'm afraid I don't know. I didn't go. I have no legs. Thank you. Who, what are you? How are you talking? I am BETI. I monitor, gather, and collect, collate signals in the research of extraterrestrial life. Oh. Um, yeah, I like SETI. I get it. Ugh, S-E-T-I is a moron. I speak 13 languages, I'm a chess master, and figured out the meaning of life. Meaning of life? Yes, but Dooley deleted that to make more room for his TV shows. I love Dooley. I need the info. If you won't tell me, I'll have to commandeer it. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Dave. <clears throat> Detective. I don't know what that reference is to, but I know the reference. Devin? Step aside, mister. Time to put my uppity AI badge to use. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait! Why do you even have a badge like that? Blood Wolf Secret. Sorry, you don't have the needs to know on in case of a needs to know basis badge. Just do whatever you're gonna do. Okay, you search the map for places the signal bounces through. I'll lock them in, and once we find enough of them, we should have the route Blood Alpha Dooley took. Got it. I'm just gonna keep going like this. Maybe not. Okay. Sorry. Now that's strange. Got it. It looks like a map of the lake. To what? To where? To Dooley. I'm not sure. Let's print it out and make and see where it leads us. This is where it leads us. Looks like to an island. I am not talking to you anymore, detective. Oh, you're okay. Okay, I got a map, props, marshmallows, and a wooden plank. Love. Hello? Hello, me again. Just wanted to make sure you were aware that Devin is allergic to technology. Bitten by a toaster once. <laughs> He's left an EMP device at home. I wouldn't sleep a wink thinking of him out there in that tech-filled wilderness without knowing that your EMP is up and running. In fact, maybe you'd send me the make and model of num- Hello? 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 Barbara, I think the line has gone dead. Where's his EMP? Okay. I love this game so much. This is probably my favorite game. Hey, what do you want? What? Have you seen Dooley around here? 
I saw them yesterday. Chased them away from the stew. Would have ruined it. It was adding flavors. How many people here? And? What's am I? The people police? Sometimes they here, sometimes they ain't. But you're here. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you was the people police. I thought's not. I don't know what accent that is, but who cares? What do you work? Why do you work out here? Working with kids suits my sunny disposition. Okay. Whatever. Tubing. Some tubing for cleaning out the tank. I think I get away with taking a small length. I think I took all of it. Pots. They look brand new. Don't need no pots to microwave a meal. Can I take one then? Whatever. I don't need some. What's the food like out here? Surprisingly good. Agnes may be a grump, but she knows how to microwave anything to perfection. Aww. I can recite pi to 34 digits. That's cool, Devin. I used to be able to recite pi to like 20 digits. Candine is the best way place to come for knives. Why do you need knives? Are you trying to suggest that at your age you didn't know why knives were useful? Wait, what age do you think I am? A hundred? <laughs> Stu, don't ask for specifics. <laughs> Can. Half-baked beans from the not thought through limited. I don't know what that means. I used, I used those to cut Devin's hair. That's why I wear this cap. <laughs> Little cups and a can of Colonel Mustard's poison custard and a box of Radaway radiation remover powder. This place has it all. Aquarium. Oh, this last year, this was a plastic fish. Progress for you. Okay. I think. Did I not check all these beds? Top one was mine. Dooley was below me. Yes, I have Dooley's old bunk. Okay. The outside. I'm going lakeside. What are you doing here? Uh. Are you here to see it too? See what too? We've been waiting ages and ages to see this show. We're starting to get bored of waiting. We're not going home without seeing the monster. Well, good luck with that. Why are you so eager to see a monster? We're 100% of Twin Lakes Crypto Cryptozoology Club. We're always on the hunt for lake monsters, sewer gators, krakens, and around winter yetis. People don't know this, but there is a lot of strange things happening in Twin Lakes. Believe you me, I know. Oh, sorry, guy, but cops don't know anything about what really goes on here. Yeah, go back to getting kittens out of trees and leave the real detectiving to us. Okay. Do you not have something better to be doing? No. Not a thing. Alright. Be soon. Unless monster gets you. Are you- Okay. They're the same person. The moon. Got my eye on you, moon. Up there watching all of the night crimes, but saying nothing. Obstruction of justice, that's what that is. I know the moon's not a person. I was only joking with it. Joking with the moon? Yes. <laughs> no gas can. It's empty because I emptied it. Yes, to start a fire? No, I poured it on Devin's bed so everyone would think he peed himself. But I gotta make sure the other packs don't want to approach him from us. Oh, so that it's sweet that you did that. Okay. We have enough food to wait this beast out for days. All kept nice and fresh in tinfoil. What kind of beast are you looking for? Because if it's in the... Okay. Blood Apple Dooley has that government and shared illusion we all experience from chemicals that put into the water. Who puts these chemicals into the water? The government. I always wanted to be a water wolf. A water wolf? Like a regular blood wolf, but also learn how to locate and scuttle submarines. Why would you want to learn that? For when they come. Who? The submarine people, obviously. Uh, what is Dooley teaching you? <laughs> water is made out of ice and heat. I'm not sure that's entirely correct. I mean, 
It can be an old boat with no gas. I know what's wrong with it. I ain't got no gas in it. And a hole in it. I need to fix this up if I want to make use and follow this map across the lake. Okay, um... Oh, I know what to do. Siphoning kit. Bag is too sticky, I'll store them in here for now. Marshmallows. I know exactly what I need to do. Heat up the marshmallows, let the marshmallows mellow down. Melt them to the ground! God, I love Emily. Okay. Got a goopy. Plank is sticky now, go team. And I just so happen to have a car right here. Stand back, it's time for me to summon up some fire juice. What does that mean? Good work, I guess. Now hand it over. What? Give me the gas can. I should have known you were on their side. What? I like your car. How fast does it go? Fast enough. You don't know, do you? The kind of cases we investigate don't really call for high-speed chases. I like police cars and fire trucks and ambulances and helicopters, but I don't like planes except for jets. It's a no. How did you become a cop? This is the coat mainly. You don't get the same squish out of the normal coat. These are special issue. Hmm. Patch that up, the hole fixed. Gotta find some gas. Bloosh, splash, splash. Splish, splash, bloosh. That's it, filled up. Guess now that it's working, it's best head out and check the light. Is that the right kind of gas? Should be. We best head out, mister. Two dangerous kids. Tell you what, you keep an eye out on here in case Julie comes back and I miss him. But danger is my middle name. No, it's not. They just write danger on all your paperwork. Oh. You have to go, mister. We have to. It's against my better judgment, but then it... But then most things are. And most things I do are. And you get... Oh, I think I remember you. When do we get police brutality in the press? That's not a thing we're going to do. Do you get any joy from this job? You are a demon. Sent from the pits of hell. I wonder if this guy has the Ask the Real Questions badge. I'm going to regret this, but what are the real questions? Which computer has Elvis been uploaded to? <laughs> Who funded Columbus's fake discovery of America? Where? Sorry, the fake discovery of America? Yeah, Julie says there's no actual proof America exists. That right now we're actually in a secret country in the middle of the Alps. That is impressive, even for Dooley. If I had a camera, I had pictures of bugs and fish and rocks and other fish because there's more than one type of fish. Thank you, Devin. Got my own, you moon. Okay. Same, same thing. I th okay. Hey, I recognize you. Dick Brickman here, reporting here from the place I am to you, wherever you are, for the Twin Lakes News with me, Dick Brickman. What are you doing here? I, Dick Brickman, I am here to report the news, and the news of this very day is that there is a monster living in this lake. It's not really breaking news, is it? People have been talking about the supposed monster for an age. Breaking news! Police admit to knowing about the monster for, and I quote, an age! How'd you get here? I don't see the boat. You can't keep a press out, and I, Dick Brickman, am the press! Aw, I love him. So what's the scoop on the monster? We're here, live at the scene, where the investigation has taken us thus far. What will we see? Is this where the monster lives? Will we finally get a signed photo of the creature? Tune in as soon as I, Dick Brickman, of the Twin Lakes News, have absolutely anything to share. You know, there's no audience here, right? No need to talk like you're in mid-broadcast. Breaking news, detective, you're here. An audience of four. An audience of four or four million. The news has to be heard. Thank you. Don't forget to tune in to Twin Lakes News with me, Dick Brickman, for the thrilling conclusion of this week's Dick Brickman Investigates. Featuring me, Dick Brickman. Where I, Dick Brickman, will follow any lead on the creature. Any lead at all. I love him. Hands off the camera. We're rolling. It's a Polaroid camera. An unmanned Polaroid camera. Doesn't matter. Dick Brickman will get his man or monster on tape. And you can rest assured that I'm not going anywhere until I do. Unless I had reason to believe the monster was hiding somewhere else. 
Okay, so I have to give him reason to believe. I think we're lost. We just took three steps into the forest. How are we lost? Pretty ke creepy place. I bet there are monsters in that forest. Let's hope not. Okay. I've buried many unwanted gifts in these woods. I'm not gonna ask. Can't you can't you orienteer us through these woods? That's a scout thing. Instead, we learn how to block. What has Dooley been teaching you? <laughs> block ourselves from all the all-seeing eye of GPS satellites. Okay, this is the conspiracy club. I like dark things, like the dark and t nighttime. Night Tim. You mean nighttime? I don't like nighttime, but only because that's when the night Tim <laughs> comes out, comes to whisper in my ear about the crushing realities of adulthood. Okay. I wonder what secrets this forest hides. Not that I have any real urge to find out. Do you have anything else to say? No. Oh, that cave has spiders in it. And bats. And bat spiders. I want to pet a bat spider. I want to pet bat spider. I need you to keep the other two occupied while I investigate that cave. Perfect. That should give me all the time I need. Time? What for? I nearly spent enough time waiting beside cave mouse to get my waiting around a cave mouth paid to bed. Why is that a thing? When will that come into useful? Well, we're waiting beside a cave mouth right now, aren't we? See how good I am at it? It's because I've been working on getting the badge. Okay. Do cave mats have cave teeth and cave tongues too? God, you just really cannot make these jokes up, right? Someone is super smart. Whoever makes these jokes. Nothing in here. No siree. Guess we should keep looking then. We really are doing stupid. Seems to be a cave behind that obviously ca fake cover. Let's go. You guys should guard out here. Okay, I'm a mess up anyone who comes near. Oh! Is there a narc still out there? He's getting too close. I'll have to... I'll have a look. Oh! Detective! Really? What's going on here? Uh... Oh, this is Nigel. Um, hi. He's a fellow trust... Truthy invited me to here to help with the problem. Right, are you done? Can we go? No, and eh, no. I need Dooley's help. Dooley's help. I don't know how to pronounce that. And here are famous in truthy circles, you know. What's the problem? The government wants me, because I'm a monster. A talking monster. Frankly, I'm surprised you haven't noticed. Anyway, I need protection. Like a gun? <laughs> Look at this guy. Let's solve everything by shooting it. I don't even own a gun. Stop talking about guns. I'm sensitive about my lack of fingers. We need to chase off that narc outside. They're closing in on Nigel and fast. Nar you mean the reporter? Clearly a government spy. No, we need to get rid of him. And once he's gone, what you need, Nigel, is a mind hat. That'll keep them off your trail. A mind hat? A protective layer of some kind of metal, maybe aluminum. Do you mean a tinfoil hat? That sounds perfect. That'll stop them using your mind waves to locate you. Genius, I knew you'd be able to help. Okay. This is great. I love it. Hello, Nigel. Um, hey. Little monster. A talking monster. But I don't like to talk about it. We're all God's creatures, I guess. They're right. We don't have much religious stuff under the sea. I've just read the books I st borrowed from the campsite. I'm not sure what you're doing in Twin Lakes. That's a good dental plan. You don't have teeth. But if I did, this would be the place to be <laughs> kidnapping, eh? I think it's unfair to describe luring somebody to a place under false pretense. Trapping them in a car cavernous lair, refusing to let them leave. Yeah, no, sorry, my bad. What do you think the government's after you? Hollywood, it'd be cheaper than CGI and monster movies <laughs> are all the rage these days. But I'm not interested in a life of fame. I prefer to the work in makeup and help the real stars shine. Oh, you're a makeup artist. Chat later. Do you like that? It's my human disguise. <laughs> I got to camp and convince Julie to come with me. <laughs> Isn't that the same disguise from like that other episode? I was certain he was another blood alpha. Very believable. Someday I hope to work in a film makeup department. I think I have a knack for it. I love you. 
Mixed with thick jamboree flyers in various stages of readiness. His lack of hands explained the childlike nature of the posters. But that explains how he got crafts table and computer in here. I got ink. Paper. A few well-placed swirls and... See, that's what I'm talking about. You can just do stuff with no reason. Scene tape. A staple of every adventure school kit. Hmm, that doesn't achieve much. Won't do. I tried that. Okay. Hmm, that didn't achieve much. Alright. Are you okay, Dooley? Yeah, but it's quite nice here. But since I can't leave, maybe you could help protect Nigel from the narc? Just get rid of that guy outside and they get the mind hat to keep him from hiding again. Dooley, the guy outside is a journalist from TV. Perfect cover. Oh boy, these government types are crafty. Ugh. Best convince them that Nigel's hiding out somewhere else. Get them off his trail. That's what I was supposed to do with that. Little seafood takeaway wrappers. Don't judge me. It's open on the same forum page as Dooley's machine was. The keys are damp. Very damp. Uh, okay, I'll go. Okay, gang, the good news is that Dooley's inside and is safe. The bad news is that he can't come out yet. Why not? Yeah, there is, um... It's a blood elf test for your don't ask questions badge. Yes, I've been waiting for that one for ages. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. Goodness me, oh my. Breaking news. The monster has been sighted elsewhere. This is me, Dick Brickman, signing off so I can sign back on another day from another bay. He left his camera. He left his camera. I guess we should bring it back to the lost and found. Dick Brickman's Polaroid camera. Okay. Well, that's him gone. It, hey, the porter's gone. Do you have the hat? The tinfoil hat? Not yet. Lee Terry, I'm not trying to lick my brain. I can. I know they're trying to, to lick my brain. I can feel it. <sighs> okay, where can I find tinfoil? They probably have it. Are you here to see it too? I need tinfoil. Think you guys can help me out? Sure. Oh, great. No way, Barry. Aunt Tracy made these for us, and they'll get soggy if we give away more tin our uh, tinfoil. You're right. They're right. We need to be waiting for a long time that the monster is showing up. Until we see proof there's a monster here. We're staying, which means the foil stays too. Ugh, sorry, Detective. Okay, I got it. Okay. I'll take a picture of him. Detective, we're trying to get the government off his trail, not to get the photographic poof that he's here. I may need to fake the monster of my, on my own. Of my own. Me, I'm going to need a costume in a secluded location. Everything fits. It's all kid sized. Oh. Here you go, Devin. Get these guys to dress up as a monster, but I need to find somewhere else where nobody will see. Otherwise, the disguise will be spoiled. What do you mean? We're in the forest. You're right, this does look like a forest for a monster to be hiding. Told you. Let's see what kind of outfit we can make out of all this. Oh my goodness. Say whatever Bigfoot says when they're having their picture taken. Wait, should that be a big foot? Big feet? <laughs> Utterly convincing. Alright. We can't walk like this. Can we take it off? I guess. Here's your proof. Found the photo you two may be interested in. Some proof, finally! We knew he was real. Wait until one day we show the gang. They seem to have left a cooler. Food and tinfoil. I'll have some of that. Okay, let's do this. Ugh, okay.
Nice. That's a hat. That should do it. Now I just need to tape this here, full bit here, and voila! Tin foil hat. Better take this back to the cave and give it to Nigel. Hey Nigel, got your hat. Is that an art gone? Yep, he's gone. Oh, hey, give him the hat. Here you go. It's a thing of beauty. Now what? With the narc distracted, Nigel and untraceable, it's time for him to find a new life free from this watchful eye of the man. Can we stay in touch? Of course, just email me from the hard to trace locations like phone booths, coffee shops, and Mar Mariana Trent. Okay, then, thanks, Julie. Poor guy. Obi shakes off those government narcs. Julie, we're government narcs. Figure it yourself, I don't tell the man nothing. I love you, Dooley. Good to have you back, Dooley. Yeah, the gas is gone. I know what's wrong with it. I got no gas in it. Petrol. Looks like you're staying here with us. More's all around. Ooh, where the bloodiest wolves around who keep their snivers on the ground. We do. We do. I love it. Love it so much. This game is like the perfect game. Right? It is the perfect game. You guys should absolutely go and play this. There's a second game as well. Um, the next episode is technically the ending? I think. Like, we have these bonus episodes, but this is technically the end of the game, I think. I'm obviously going to play these bonus episodes, obviously, as their own separate episodes. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe when you're here. Make sure to ring the notification bell to be notified of new upcoming videos. It helps a lot. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Love you guys. Bye.